Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these two triangles ABC and EAD such that they are put together on a straight line EB as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, this angle D is 101 degrees and this line segment AC is equal to this uh, line segment uh, BC. And these lines BC and this line AD are parallel to each other. And finally, this is our angle X and this is our angle 3 times X. And now we are going to find the value of this angle X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this triangle ABC and we know that this is an isosceles triangle since its two side lengths are equal. So therefore its two angles angle A and angle B are equal and let me go ahead and call them alpha. And here's our next step. We know that these lines BC and AD are parallel. So therefore this angle ABC and this angle EAD are corresponding angles and they are congruent. If this angle is alpha, then this angle has got to be alpha as well. And here's our next step. Let's recall this straight angle property over here. This whole angle, this is 180 degrees. That means this angle alpha plus this angle 3x plus this angle alpha must be 180 degrees. So therefore I am going to write down alpha plus 3x plus alpha must be 180 degrees. And if we combine the like terms alpha plus alpha is going to give us 2 alpha plus 3x equals to 180 80 degrees. Let me go ahead and call this as our equation number one. And now let's focus on this triangle EAD. And now let's recall this angle sum theorem. The sum of the three interior angles in a triangle must be 180 degrees. So that means this angle plus this angle plus this angle has got to be 180 degrees. So therefore I can write angle X plus angle alpha plus this angle 101 degrees must be 180 degrees. Let's go ahead and subtract 101 degrees from both sides. This is gone. So our X plus alpha equals to 70 9 degrees. Now let's move this x on the right hand side. So alpha is going to be equal to 79 degrees minus x. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and put this uh, alpha equals to 79 degrees minus x in this equation 1. And here's our equation 1. Let's go ahead and replace alpha by 79 degrees minus x. So 2 times 79 degrees minus x plus 3x equals to 180 degrees. Now let's go ahead and distribute this 2. So that's going to give us 158 degrees minus 2x plus 3x equals to 180 degrees. And now we can see negative 2x plus 3x is going to give us positive 1x. And now let's go ahead and subtract 158 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore our angle x turns out to be 22 degrees. So thus our angle X turns out to be a 22 degrees. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.